So does this constitute as a hard Brexit? Yeah. Picture the scene. Your god Howard, your AAA company, has just released Starfield and is keeping Fallout 76 alive with new DLCs, which are actually pretty cool by the way. But like an outlaw bursting through the saloon doors, a new challenge were approached. Fallout London. Sorry, but you are one ugly mother but And with it comes a mod so good that you actually don't mind spending money on it. I'm looking at you, Creation Club. No, 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 Fallout London brings the best modders have to offer on the menu, putting you in a world full of knights, tube lines, and the most important values Britain has to offer. Ah, oh, bro, you got the red milk and the green milk. British skimmed long life milk. Well, I'm a skimmed milk guy, personally. Semi skimmed? Wait, what? Semi skimmed is green milk. Why is. They've switched it. They've switched it. Oh, okay, I'm a semi-skim man then, which is supposed to be green milk. And aside from personal dairy-related issues, there is a whole host of food items that are staples of a good British diet. I found one. Yorkshire pudding and pancake mix. I've won. I've won. I don't need to play the game anymore. I found the best item. There's a tea station. There's a tea station? There's so much tea. My god, it is British Fallout. No way. Pink wafers? I, I, they're winning me over here. Is he? I just found horse meat. No way I found horse meat. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's go everyday value. It is more than fair to say the devs of Fallout London did a stellar job. They even got the water quality of the Thames right as well. Oh yeah, he's just dying of the radiation. Oh, look at his health go down. Rip. Oh my god. And that's why you don't take a dip in the Thames. And they've even managed to capture the environment of London's nightlife as well, which is one of the most impressive things to me. Red tiger. Oh, that works. It's not the red lion, but... Uh... It works. See kids, this is why you don't order a Foster's and Lime in a pub. Just order something decent. Now speaking of that London nightlife, your story starts with you waking up not knowing where or who the hell you are. Just two guys staring at you while you're suspended in a tube. Subject has been performing adequately. No. No spikes in visuals. Nothing unusual. See, I want to create most true Brexit geezer. He's got knife marks, probably from Hounslow those, and he's got acid marks as well. Probably tried to ask his neighbour for some sugar. Uh, Geese. That's his name, it's Geese. After getting your thoughts together, like the videos from the previous night's party, you're forced to escape after all in the lab goes critically wrong. Ah, um, is he okay? I'm still inside. Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. Well, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter what your name is! Um, I don't suppose I can call 61016, can I? I want to see it say it sorted. Through a train crash and an apparent spinal injury, you meet the Vagabonds, the first of many gangs who are caught up in the post-war political scene, fighting their rivals, the Isle of Dogs. But as I want to keep this a mainly spoiler-free video, I'll try to leave their story out of it. The console made things go oh. at the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. Interesting There's choice of words there. Lot of them, and they hey. Bro, just get the drip going. My god, look at this. Oh, hang on. I've been monologuing. This guy's just died. This has gone from a gang war to stealing nuclear power. It's gone from zero to a hundred so quickly, but I'm so goddamn here for it.
that is one way to clear a building. With a trail to your past about as clear as modern British politics, you're left to explore London, hoping that at some point you'll discover who the hell you are while trying not to die along the way. Nice to see you. Magic milk. What's magic milk? Rats minus 800. Oh, it's not magic milk. It's like bleach. Brilliant. Okay. So you can drink bleach in Fallout London. Brilliant. Fallout London has its fair share of parallels when it comes to friends, foes and locations. Ghouls are commuters, raiders are hooligans, and caps have been replaced by tube tickets of all things. You've not seen a commuter before. There's a bunch of us about. Something to do with radiation and whatnot. I never much cared why. You get used to it. There are some what call us ghouls. Cheeky bastards. The mod also takes parallels from the real world as well. Pub names and places are the main thing, but local shops have also taken inspiration too. But if you insist, keep following the road, past the bunker, past Fesco, then turn right. Past keep Fesco. And you'll reach the old tube stage. Past Fesco. It's down there. Now, I wonder what Fesco is. Oh my god, it's actually Tesco. Fesco, you bet. I can't remember what Tesco's tagline is. I think it's Every Little Helps. Or maybe that's Asda. Singsbury's? Singbury's. Is that supposed to be Sainsbury's? Quick side note as well, that is a real place I managed to find. There's a couple of places around London and Birmingham, but I thought that was pretty cool. Gregory's. No way, Gregory's? I've I've reached the Holy Land. I've made it. Gregory's. If there's not a sausage roll in here, I'm going to be very disappointed. One of the things that Fallout does best is locations. They create stories and intrigue better than most others. But Fallout London does this in a way that far outstretches even other Fallout games. Well, yeah, they weren't kidding when they said Westminster was walled off. Jesus. We'll ignore the textures in the background or they load in, but... Wow. 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 Landmarks like the London Eye and the O2 Arena are brought into a Fallout-centric style that fits into the surroundings without taking away from the monuments itself. Right, so this is the O2 Arena in Fallout London. And it looks like an absolute state. Wow. It is just a radiation-filled dome. See, this is what happens when you have Taylor Swift play here. I'm kidding, don't, don't sue me. The boroughs are a whole different story. How each one is designed is excellent. You'll of course eventually visit them all, but you'll certainly get to take your pick of the bunch while you're at it. Oh, it's a, my god, it's a nightclub. Oh my god, it's a nightclub. Why are there robots doing the stanky leg on the balcony up there? Are they twerking? They are twerking. They are throwing it back. One of the best boroughs for storytelling is Islington. Without giving too much of the why away, it's a fantastic example of using an environment to tell a story. What the? What is this place? I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm about to hear something start clicking, and I am not filled with confidence. It's not worse, but not much worse. Well, you stink, so shut up. Yeah, um, that would be a cause of all of this, definitely. Jesus Christ, there's just a bomb here. Now, of course, famous factions are another thing synonymous with Fallout, and the same can be said for Fallout London itself, and there are plenty of factions that will catch your eye, from knights to boxers to punks, even to those in old Navy cosplay. Okay, well, I've done that. What's a... G oh my god. Huh. Um... I didn't think I'd see these here. But I suppose this is an anarchy palace. 
if this is an anarchy palace, technically they shouldn't be there. Or maybe anarchists practice safe sex. I don't know. What on earth are these guys? The people just go insane at this point. You've got a musket? Oh, own a musket for home defence, because that is what the Founding Fathers intended. Even the raiders or hooligans pack a meaner presence in London. Using old pre-war fortifications and technology, they bring a more threatening aura, but are easily dispatched when you're armed correctly. Oh, it's an attack dog. Sorry about that, boy. <laughs> oh, God. He's got a flamethrower. Oh, come on. Get, come off it. Burn, baby, burn. Huh. That is a good way of dealing with foxes. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> One of the more recognisable factions is the Tommies, who you'll see everywhere. They're the closest thing old Blighty has to an army. They're a little confused, but, you know, the spirit's there. We have what you're looking for. But they're in high demand. And we don't just hand them out to civilians. Okay, but what if I said please? Thin as it is, with the hooligans continually kicking us up the arse. The hooligans are kicking you up the arse. Aren't you the military? God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. She's not caught up on local news, is she? The Tommies, they guard Westminster, the rich, snobby, uptight area of London. It's definitely a change in scenery and a change in clientele as well. Suppose I should press on. If I see one more up and come a peasant, I'll go mad. Um, so that's the kind of place I'm in then. I live in fear knowing you people can reproduce. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Am I invisible? Or you know are what? You invalid? Just for that. Just for that. <laughs> now you're not alone in London either. Much like any other Fallout game, companions come in all shapes and sizes from any backgrounds and will help you along the way. Right, so a minute with this big bastard here then. Hey buddy. You uh, gonna take it easy? Oh. Please, let me come with you and punch people who make you mad. Yeah, sure. Welcome aboard, bro. My personal favourite so far is Jack, who you just saw there, the six foot seven boxer who I made carry 200 pounds of lead. I also found an adventurer called Kira too, who's a, uh, an interesting character to say the least. But Fallout London devs, I beg you, please let me put a bowler hat on Churchill the dog. Da, 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 da. That's cringe. Hmm. You got me around to direct you. I'm going to shoot this woman Always in a minute. Not, not. Did you see that follow up? That's how it's done. Uh, I'm gonna try not to shoot her. I'm gonna try my very best not to shoot her. Now, regardless of who you choose, you've got one hell of a game waiting for you. I won't give too much of the insane story away, but you've got a lot to look forward to by playing this. I feel like somebody's watching everything I do as I play through this mod like a Truman kind of situation. Oh, what the hell are you? These guys just look like the Deadpool from the Wolverine film. Jesus, what's happened to you? On that note and avoiding potential spoilers, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. A like and a subscribe are never needed, but are always appreciated. Take care. Goodbye.